Hi, this is Jim Colt uh, with Maverick CNC, and I want to talk about a few things that you should probably do when you're starting up the plasma cutter and the CNC cutting table first thing in the morning. Um, obviously, uh, you, might, you probably had the compressed air shut down during the night, uh, and so uh, you're going to have an error code on the front of the power supply that says low air pressure until the air pressure comes up. The, the compressed air, the, the, the air pressure error code will clear itself where some of the error codes such as uh, consumables, you know, involving the consumables, changing the consumables, you have to reset by, by uh, repowering the plasma cutter, the PowerMax plasma cutter. So that's one of the things. Uh, uh, if I have changed the consumables, I will see a 050 error code. If the air pressure had been off, I'll see another error code. Uh, and those error codes, once again, as we already mentioned, can be looked up uh, in the manual or on the, on the little placard that's behind the CNC control on a Maverick CNC machine. Um, one, of, no, one of the error codes that I do want to mention, though, that I hear a lot about on online forums uh, is a 0-30 error code. And if you look that up, it says stuck consumables. And inside the hypertherm torch, there's an electrode that has to move. It slides back and forth. It uses spring pressure to push it forward, and it uses air pressure to push it back. So if the consumables are worn out, uh, there's, a, there's a number of things that can cause the stuck, uh, stuck consumables error code, the 0-30. But most often, uh, if you see it first thing in the morning, it has to do with inlet air pressure. So check your air system, uh, check both static and dynamic air pressure. And that means static air pressure is the air pressure that comes to the back of the plasma cutter, measured with a gauge right on the rear of the plasma cutter, um, when no air is flowing at the torch. And when air is flowing at the torch, we call that dynamic pressure. You're going to see the pressure at the back of the plasma cutter drop a little bit. And if that ever gets near, uh, 95 or 90 PSI, if it gets that low or lower, expect um, a, a variety of different error codes to occur. That means that we're getting some air pressure starvation into the back of the power supply. And it's a common thing that you run into first thing in the morning. Don't panic. Uh, do a little bit of troubleshooting. And, and I do say install a gauge uh, right on the rear panel inlet of the plasma cutter, and that's a good way uh, to troubleshoot those kinds of error codes. Uh, and as always, it, if uh, for some reason you can't solve it, tech service uh, at, your, at your welding supply at Maverick CNC and at Hypertherm uh, can help you.